Hey guys, it's Kathleen. I am back and thrifting. It is a little overcast today, but there are several yard sales, but the next town over for me is having their first ever citywide indoor yard sale. And when they were having people sign up for booths, they specified no businesses. So it still might be a lot of crafters, but at least it's not going to be other small business people, you know, hawking their wares, which is good. Hopefully it will be a lot of people cleaning out their houses and we will find some good stuff. If you're new to my channel, I'm a part-time reseller and a full-time school counselor and I troll yard sales and estate sales and thrift stores looking for undervalued stuff that I can flip for a profit online. So if you like that, you're in the right place, hit the subscribe button. All right, guys, let's go digging through the piles and keep your fingers crossed. It's not just a whole lot of crafty stuff. Not my okay, so the first thing that I end up picking up are these two bags of bay blades. Some bay blades can go really high. It really just takes a Google lens search to figure out which ones you've got. But my kids at school play bay blades all the time. So for two bucks a bag, it was a no brainer. Just pick them up and if I can't sell them, then they go into school. This yokai book right there is in English. If you find any of the ones that are in Japanese, definitely scoop them up. So initially I was going to get this Nerf Elite Shot 2.0 flip shot. Um, however, she has it marked for $25. I thought it was only marked at $5. I didn't see the two tens. I only saw the five. So it is only moving on eBay for about $35 free shipping. So definitely not worth paying 25 bucks for.
are the um, Levi's cargo shorts on top? The cargo shorts on the table are a dollar. They're a dollar? Okay, yes. and then how much are these? I think I had three on those. Yeah, I couldn't. Am I missing? It might have came off. It was three though. Okay, thank you. A drive by. Yes. Hmm. 
I told you. I have to find out. Glass punch ball. Yes. Welcome back to the thrift haul portion of the video. So those were two really good yard sales. For the most part, everything was priced very, very reasonably. And I'm going to start off with what I think is my best purchase of the day. And that is this Lennox nativity scene. I do not have it here to show you because I have already processed it and um, boxed everything up. Whenever I purchase something like that, where it's not only is it breakable, but it's also really like expensive. Some of those pieces we're going to sell, fingers crossed, for like close to $100. I make sure that they're wrapped and double boxed and all the things. And so for that reason, I want to get the weight ahead of time before I list them. And so um, they have already been processed. Anyway, here's what it looked like before I boxed it up. And I will also flash some of the comps up there so that you can see some of them don't do much at all but a couple of them should bring me close to $100 a piece, and I only paid $30 for the entire set, which I thought was a great deal. Um, I didn't even look up the comps when I was there because honestly, it was such a pretty set that I figured, you know what, if it's not gonna move for much, then I'm just gonna keep it for myself. But the comps were there, so goodbye. Okay, for everything, including the nativity scene, I paid only 80 bucks. So all of this stuff, I only paid 50 bucks. You can do the math, but you know. Anyway, the first thing I got was this Spider-Man Marvel thing. I always take time to look up anything that has to do with the superheroes, with Avengers, with Marvel, because they have a loyal following. Not everything is all that great. This is new and in the package. It is still sealed. I have to open it up because somebody used it as target, target practice. I'm hoping there are no BBs inside, um, but if everything is good inside and, you know, attached to the cardboard, and it really should be, and not damaged, then um, this should probably go for right around 40 bucks. So happy to pick that up. She also had this Nerf set that I almost got because it had um, a $10 sticker, a $10 sticker, and a $5 sticker on it. So I'm like, oh, she must have lowered it to five bucks no her kids did the pricing and she's like no it's 25 10 plus 10 plus five i'm like yeah that's too rich for my blood and that didn't even sell as well as this thing and she let this go for five so go figure okay i also grabbed vulgar dash and i really only grabbed this because it is also sealed and in the package probably not going to bring much more than 15 dollars, but you know if i see a halfway decent game that is new and in the box i snatch it up because they just move especially at christmas time which i know is a long way off but nonetheless i like to pick those things up when they're super cheap and that was only two bucks all right i got these three nfl posters for 25 cents a piece and they are vintage they are all from the 80s the only problem is i have no idea what they look like and i hate to break the seal on the plastic but i may not have any choice whatsoever i've been looking for like some type of identifier like an item number that i could i don't know find the poster online to show them what it would look like but so far i am coming up short now 
There are some out there that have been selling for $10, $20. I have no idea. I have no idea if this is one of those. I don't know, but I will keep you posted and let you know. This is probably not going to happen until the end of the week. I grabbed this for a dollar and this was a clunker for sure. This is just a Dell laptop case. It looks like they're selling about seven bucks and not selling really terribly fast. So this is probably going to get donated. When I go to these yard sales and everything's a dollar, I don't really care or things that are a dollar. I don't care if there's some clunkers thrown in. If I get a low cost of goods, I am fine with that. Okay, I think that's all those big things. Okay, I grabbed two of these pair of socks just because they were brand new and in the package and oh so soft as the as the name would suggest, super soft they are. Um, these were just three bucks a piece. These will probably go for about twelve to fifteen dollars a pair. <clears throat> Excuse me, a pair. Some of these things are bagged because I have already processed and listed them. These were 25 cents a piece and I could not leave these behind. These are Color Street. Now, if I can find them super cheap like this, I snatch these up. I don't know if they still make Color Street. I don't know. I don't know a lot about it, but I do know that these two colors are retired. And so probably I'll get more for the purple one than the blue one. So that's why I just lotted them up together. I'm expecting to get about 12 to $15 for the two of them together. Okay, she had a bunch of wrestlers, and I will flash the comps up there because some of these wrestlers don't do much, and some of them do. This is one of the ones that do, do I'll flash his name up there, I can't remember, but then he had a little accident with his hiney, his little broken, it's like cracked, like literally cracked, not, you know, anyway. Oh shoot, there goes his leg. So anyway, I just closed that. I mean, I took a picture of it, zoomed in on his butt, <laughs> like this to show them that it was broken. I guess I shouldn't use the word. He thought it was cracked. Oops, mic drop. Okay, she, I bought a bunch of, um, like, action figures from her. And so, oh, some of them, some of them are not all in here. These two I'm loading up together. I can't remember. These are either Fortnite or... I think these are Fortnite guys, or maybe, I don't know, they're one of the, um, they're one of the video games, and I'm not really good. I think it's Fort Fortnite, but I'll flash it up there, and then I have these, a bunch of Batmans. I have, uh, that's what I'm missing, the blue and the black, here they are, okay. So I have these two guys I'm going to load up together, they can do halfway decent, I can't remember off the top of my head, I'll flash it up there. Then I have Bizarro Superman, and he's just meh. If I had normal Superman, he would do okay with him lotted up. So I don't know, maybe $5 for him. And then I have a couple of other Batman. And then this guy, which he's from, oh God, it's escaping me, but he's from one of the Disney movies, and he does okay. The point is I got all of them for just a couple of bucks. And so by lotting them out, parting them out, they will do okay. Um, and so I like picking up things like that. I also did get two bags of Beyblades. And I have not had a chance to do a Google Lens search on them. Some of the Beyblades sell really, really, really high. And I use Beyblades in my school for my boys. They, I use them as a behavior reward. So worst case scenario, if these are all duds, then they just go into my classroom. So it's kind of a win-win. Um, I'll keep you posted on these. I just haven't had a chance to Google Lens them and see which ones are worth it. I only picked this up because it is new and in the package. It's a size extra large for girls. And apparently it has a doll dress in it. Oh, there it is, it's right there in the front. So it comes with a little matching doll dress. So that'll move, even if it hangs around for a while. It will move eventually. This will probably only go for about six or seven dollars. Okay, I picked up these Jordans. Kid size, really reasonably priced, really good condition, still a lot of tread on them. I'm thinking about 20 to 30, somewhere around there. These I also picked up. These were priced higher. They're in better condition. 
I can't remember the name of them, but I'll put it up there. So I've got to do a little cleaning on the back, but other than that, I mean, look at what great condition they're in. I mean, these hardly look worn at all. And again, these will go in the 20 to $30 range. Then I picked up this. I've never sold Banana Republic purses before, but I'm like, you know what? This is definitely in great condition. It's suede and pebbled leather. It's super soft. I love the feel of it. And it was worth looking up. And the ones that I saw go for between $40 and $50. So I picked that up for a couple of bucks. Then this is, so th this Banana Republic is $2. And then this Michael, um, excuse me, Mark Jacobs was three bucks, but it came with the dust bag. So that's always a win. Yeah. Oh, she tried. I don't know. I didn't see that the that the dust bag was charged. She must have charged me for that. I hmm. No, she didn't. She definitely only charged me eight bucks for both of them. Well, I didn't realize that the dust bag was for sale. I just assumed it came with the with the purse. So um, anyway, I hope I didn't short her on that. If I did, I didn't do it intentionally. Okay, and so then this is um, super, super clean on the inside, just in really, really good condition. Now, I, Mark Jacobs, I've sold them before and I've sold them where they move and they fly out of there and I've got one that's been hanging around for about two years. So, I don't know, but it always gets interest. So, um, it's, it's just in really good condition. It's a really nice soft pebbled leather. And again, the dust bag with it is just gonna sweeten the deal. This was just a dollar and I just love polo. I can't, I can't turn polo down for a dollar, especially when it's in such good condition. I don't know what the heck this is. Um, this might have been a bad pickup because his neck doesn't seem to slide back into place. But I've gotten lucky before with like these how you train your dragon type stuff. And I don't know if that's what this is. I haven't had a chance to look it up. But it was probably about a quarter. I paid a dollar for this. And these little electronic things for babies move for me. Particularly, this is Sesame Street. I don't even know. It might be vintage. No, it's 2010. Um, so I have to put batteries in and see if it works. But again, it was super cheap. Okay, in spite of me having a bajillion pair of shoes, I did buy more. Um, but the price was right. These are Keens. Well, those don't match. Where's the matchy one? Here we go. But they're, they're dirty, but this style moves for me. So I'm just gonna take my concoction to that and just scrub them in the sink and that'll come right out. So these are gonna be really pretty once they're cleaned up. And then this I thought was an interesting pair of Keens. These I just have to get into the soles to clean. They have a lot more wear than the other pair, but they're different. And so um, these were each like $2 a pair. So that was definitely a yes. And then, I don't know how this does Euro soft by soft, but I thought it was a really nice orthotic looking pair of sandals, leather uppers, all the things. I'm not even sure of the size. Oh, a seven, so that's a halfway decent size. And um, she had another pair just like this in tan, but the straps were really beaten up, so I didn't want to fool with it. And then the last thing I got, I also have to clean this up because it's a little bit dirty. You probably can't see it here, but there's all dirt spots on the front and on the back. And so this is just Super Mario Brothers, a little case. But these um, genuine Nintendo products move. So if you ever see them and they're cheap, nab them. They always move. Even like the little figures, those little Mario figures. Um, I saw one at the yard sale, the indoor yard sale, and then some little kid came over and started looking at it. So I was like... Well, I can't be stealing toys from kids now, so I let him have it, but he was not getting the case, let me tell you. All right, guys, that's everything for this Thrift With Me video. As always, hit the subscribe button down below if you like this kind of content, and I will catch you next week. Bye, guys.